Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome to episode number 109 of Minos the Kings back here in San Marino with SS Cosmos where today we've got our Europa League quarter final against Borussia Mönchengladbach. The first leg is away from home at the Borussia Park in Germany. Uh, hopefully we can uh, we can just hold our own really uh, in the away leg, uh, come away with a decent result to take back to San Marino with us. This is the lineup that we're going to go with for today, though. We're going to go with Juric and goal, Hassan Benavides, Nunez and Casanova, Lugovic, Alfonso, Ilyashev, Sevilla, with Gata and Romero uh, as the two up top. We are going to put uh, Cabrera on the bench. Casanova's lacking a little bit of match sharpness, uh, so we may have to make a change there. Uh, we're going to bring him on for Ottaviani. Uh, yeah, so hopefully. Hopefully we can just sort of hold our own here. Pedro Romero only just back from his injury as well. Also lacking in a little bit of match sharpness. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I just hope that we can hold our own uh, really because uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach are a better team than us. Uh, we've absolutely packed the away end there, which is good. Mönchengladbach team, they've got one real player left in their starting lineup, they're in an okay form, currently sit 8th in the Bundesliga table, uh, which I had a look at by the way, Bayern Munich have won the Bundesliga every single season since 2013, they're on like a 21, 22 year streak of Bundesliga titles, um, but we do have our first highlight in the 10th minute, it's Borussia Mönchengladbach coming forward, Dene Lewic, a good ball forward towards Goebel, uh, Juric comes out to meet him though and Juric forces the ball behind for a corner uh, the effort there from Marcus Goebel to, it's going to be Cisse with the corner it's towards that near post it's headed clear though by Lugovic good header away right into the 35th minute it's been quite a quiet first half Casanova the throw in on the left hand side for Cosmos Casanova gets the ball back from Gata finds Lugovic to Ilyashev ball across towards Alfonso driving towards the penalty area Alfonso with the ball forward towards Sevilla Sevilla with the opportunity there it's a good save by Caseda in goal there for Mönchengladbach. It is going to be a corner which is going to be taken by Gatta towards that near post and it's headed clear by Poole but Sevilla is going to pick up the ball here. Back in towards Romero, good cut out there by Tenor otherwise Romero was in. It's uh, As far as the uh, our semi-final, potential semi-final draw going, it's Bayern 1, Liverpool 1, the two heavyweights left in this uh, this stage of this competition uh, and you fancy either of those two clubs to go on and win the competition but I'm, I'm pleased to get into half time at nil nil we are holding our own uh, xg wise it's very similar we've actually had more shots than munch and glad back hassan with the throwing back towards benavides there hassan gets it back looking up the line towards ramiro it's easily cut out though uh, and now gobel with the ball he's got a runner ahead of him it's leonardo enrique fantastic save again by juric in goal branco juric there is absolutely proven his worth uh, and i'm so glad i made the decision for Juric over Marin because uh, he's he's performed so well since he came and he's done really really well and I do feel as though if we had Marin in goal we wouldn't be at this stage of the competition uh, as Bayern now take the lead 2-1 against Liverpool it's Carlos Rico with his second goal of the game um, Juric goes long it's going to be easy for the defender this though Tenor brings it out finds it Jaeger to Tenor again and now Piras Pul Cisse ball forward over the top towards Gobel again he's in and Juric again Pulls his defender out of the mud there because uh, they're getting in behind us far too easily here. Uh, it is going to be Cesse with the corner though. Towards that back post, Tenor gets his head to the ball, but it's thankfully for us, uh, it's gone harmlessly wide. Uh, 66 minutes on the clock. Borussia Mönchengladbach starting to pile the pressure on now. This time it's Poole with the header. Robert Poole does finally put Borussia Mönchengladbach into the lead. Uh, and it was coming. It, it was coming. We were we were under the cosh a little bit there they've they've really grown into this game have Borussia Mönchengladbach I'm going to make some changes here though I'm going to bring Pedro Romero off like I say he's recovering from his injury still and he's not exactly playing great so we're going to bring a Chirillo on I'm actually going to swap these two around put Gatta as the advance forward everybody else is performing sort of okay I might bring Casanova off get Cabrera on Cabrera recently capped as well by Paraguay no he wasn't I'm um, uh, it was Bergueno who was actually capped recently. Uh, Alfonso, 6.6. .6, Irishev, 6. So the midfielders are not doing too badly. Let's uh, just go with the two and see 
Let's see if we can work our way back into this game. We're also going to encourage the boys. Um, but it is Jaeger with a throw in for Gladbach. Headed out by Sevilla, but it's Boyd with the effort. It's gone harmlessly over the bar, though. Uh, yeah, let's play for set pieces. Good suggestion, Mr. Assistant. Mr. King, I believe, our, our assistant is. Uh, 10 minutes remaining. I, I, I'd be kind of happy with a 1-0 to take it back to San Marino with us. It's a difficult place to, to come here. Man Borussia Mönchengladbach, I've got a very, very good team. Uh, Robert Poole picking up the man of the match there, but Juric, again, showing exactly what he's made of. I'm, I'm quite happy with the 1-0. I, I think that we've got a chance here. Uh, we just need to keep it tight in San Marino again, uh, and hopefully we can, uh, we can come out the other side and it looks like it's going to be Bayern Carlos Rico with the hat-trick there uh, unless Liverpool can do something at Anfield um, but yeah I'm going to I'm going to obviously I've got Feitano to play here as you can see and then I've got obviously the home leg against Borussia Mönchengladbach so I'm going to go away now and play the Feitano game and I'll come back and I'll catch up with you guys in just a minute all right guys welcome back uh, to the second part of the episode uh, at home to Borussia Mönchengladbach uh, where I'm hoping that we can uh, turn around the 1-0 deficit that we've got in the home leg. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at the starting lineup, then we're going to get straight into the game. Uh, and it's pretty much um, exactly the same. Uh, I'm not going to make any changes. I thought we played quite well. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to make any changes at all. Uh, we did really, really well. Uh, the one I would maybe change is I'd put Foster on the bench to bring on later on in the game, but he is, as you can see, uh, injured so hopefully hopefully we can turn around this 1-0 deficit uh, and get ourselves like I said into that semi-final for the second season running for the third time uh, altogether and this time we are guaranteed to miss Manchester United in the semi-final of the Europa League because uh, they're not in it <laughs> uh, as as things stand it looked like it looks like it would be Bayern Munich uh, we do have a kickoff highlight though, and it is hopefully Cosmos on the attack here. It's a ball out wide by Ilyshev to Casanova. Uh, looking to get the ball across into the box, he does, but it's a poor cross cut out by Tenner. And Jaeger brings it forward for Leonardo Enrique. Defender tracking back with him, holds him up. Jaeger gets the ball instead. Uh, Jaeger taking up the fight on the right hand side now, though, for Gladbach and gets the ball back. That's poor defending. Goebbels in, and it's hit the post already. Within 40 seconds, Borussia Mönchengladbach have hit the post. Uh, not the best of starts to the game for the team from San Marino. Uh, in terms of shots-wise, we do look like we have had the better better of it in terms of shots. It's obviously they've hit the woodwork, which wasn't great. We are 20 minutes in now, though. Uh, nothing's happened here. We have got a corner, though. Gatter for that near post. Benavides, it's headed clear, though. Only as far as Sevilla finds Gatter again into the box. Ramiro's there. Pedro Romero puts the ball into the back of the net. We are going to get the obligatory VAR check now, though. Uh, I wonder if it was for Gatta being offside from the pass back to him. Hopefully not. It's been awarded. It has been awarded. So game on. Uh, Pedro Romero with his 70th goal of the season. Uh, this is what I think the offside was for there, but I don't think it was. It might have been Romero uh, for the cutback from Gatta. But as long as he was level or behind Gatta, he's absolutely fine. Yeah, he's well behind Gatter, isn't he? He's behind the ball. Uh, so not offside there. Uh, and like I say, game on here in San Marino. One all on aggregate. Bayern now 4-1 up over Liverpool. Musiala with the goal this time around. Uh, I just hope that we can uh, we can keep it going here and, and get back ourselves another one. We do have an attacking free kick here, though. Uh, foul on Iryashev. It's going to be taken by Pedro Romero for that top corner. He's hit the outside the post. Not a bad free kick from Pedro there. Unfortunately, it doesn't find its way into the back of the net, but now we do have Borussia Mönchengladbach coming forward. Uh, as we approach half-time, it's Boyd. Effort from range. What did that hit? Did that hit the post? Uh, Nunez clears it anyway. Uh, no, it didn't hit the post. It looks like it might have been a save by a Branko Juric in goal there. Uh, half-time, though. 1-0 to Cosmos. 1-0 on aggregate. Bayern Munich, as things stand, await uh, in the semi-final. If we get there, if we get there, I hope we get there. Um, I can't see Liverpool getting three goals back in the second half here against Bayern Munich, despite being at home. Uh, we still have to get through this, though. It's a corner by Sese. It's headed over the crossbar by Tenner. 
Uh, we've got 30 minutes remaining here. I may look to make a quick change. Alfonso's not played the best. Let's get Ricky North on for Jeremiah's there. Um, I, I don't really want to change anything else. Other than that, we're playing quite well. Um, Casanova loses the ball, though, to Deniluch, who finds Asparag the, the, the Asparagus. <laughs> uh, Hummel finds Pool uh, to Gigena Sese. I'm finding it quite difficult to read the names at the minute. My laptop's having a little bit of a fit for whatever reason. It's probably because I've got a few things open. I'm actually editing some videos as we speak as well. Uh, and my laptop is struggling to keep up with it. It's, it's, I'm running out of space. The games I've got on there at the minute, Overwatch 2. Uh, you may have seen that on my channel. I streamed it on Twitch. Uh, there's a video on my channel about an hour long of that stream. Looking to do some more of that later on, hopefully. Um, Casanova feeds the ball forward, but it's cut out by Sese Caseda. The goalkeeper goes long. A goal ball is underneath it, uh, but Benavides wins the header. Now it's Pavel Iryshev to Pedro Romero. Uh, cut out by Hummel, though. And now Chan Dogan to Gagena Boyd. Uh, Dogan are bringing the ball forward down the left-hand side. Lugovic cuts it out. Uh, loses it to Gagena again, though. Uh, can't keep our foot on the ball at the minute Dogan plays it forward towards Boyd inside the penalty area it's a good effort, it's blocked by the keeper but Goebel follows up to put Borussia Mönchengladbach 2-1 into the lead again uh, good save initially by Juric unfortunately he's palmed it straight into the past of Goebel uh, and as things stand we are gone out of Europe although Gatter with the corner it's headed clear by Tenner only as far as Lugovic, though. Now Hassan feeding it forward towards Iryashev. Casanova to Gatta feeds it to Sevilla, gets it back. Iryashev with the effort. It's a poor effort there by Iryashev. Uh, we really, really have to hit the target. Uh, we've got 10 minutes left to save our season. Otherwise, we are heading out in the quarter-final stage this time around, uh, which would be quite poor, really. Uh, Goebel finds Sese, or Cisse, tackled by Casanova. No. No way. Never mind whether it was in the box or not. What about if it was a foul or not? If, what, it didn't look like a foul to me. It looked like he blocked the ball. Right, well, yeah, no penalty, no foul either, ref. Cisse, Cisse with the free kick. For Borussia Mönchengladbach, the free kick they shouldn't have. So if they score from this, I, I'm going to be really annoyed. Lugovic boots it clear, though. Uh, Ricky North doesn't get there, but Casanova picks up the pieces. We've got two minutes. Two minutes to save our season, but it's, it's Gladbach coming forward. Uh, it looks like it's going to be... Uh, it's a great free kick by Sese. Juric has, is forced into the save. It does look like that's going to be the end of uh, Europe for us this season. Unfortunately, uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach were just the better team on the day. Uh, over the, across the two legs um i think that's more than likely going to be the full-time whistle uh we the, the game's still going on though casting over down this left hand side finds Sevilla. we need, just need to get the ball forward now that was a great pass looking for pedro Ramiro. Uh, unfortunately we have been defeated on aggregate 2-1 by borussia much and glad back one all on the night uh, Munch and Gladbach, we're, we're just too strong for us. They were the better team across the two games. We were the underdogs. The boys did give it their best. A one-all draw is a decent result. Uh, that does leave us out of Europe, though. Bayern go through 5-2 in aggregate uh, over Liverpool. We wouldn't have got past Bayern Munich anyway. Obviously, it would have been nice to get to the semi-final. But we have gone deep into a European competition again. Uh, so it is still growth at the club, which is fantastic. It's only going to help. Uh, it's just disappointing not to get any further than we have. Uh, so, yes, we're out in the quarterfinal. It's another million and a half in the bank. Not really um, not really the greatest. We're only actually 1.9 million down this season. I do lose about a million a month uh, in terms of finances. Obviously, we are underneath the wage budget. I have that's, This has gone up quite a bit this season uh, with some of the players that I've brought in. Uh, you, you, like you can see by the projection that we do just lose money throughout the course of the season uh, which is why these runs in Europe are quite important um, yeah that's that's obviously the end of everything that you're going to see on camera this season we are going to do uh, the usual end of season review uh, like we normally do uh, I might actually roll it into one episode with next season's season preview although no I don't think I will 
I think I'll just keep it to a video on its own. Um, so yeah, unfortunately that is it, guys. I've got one game left in the league. Obviously, then I've got the the playoffs to get through. Uh, again, Penarosa, Trey Penny done quite well. For Gory, I've had a bit of a drop off this season, uh, despite um, getting through some of the uh, getting through into if, through a European tie this season. I saw it earlier. There's there's a, Eric Seri. Is uh, he he's found his way into one of these other European, uh, not European, San Marino clubs? I'm just trying to think who it was. So he's he's left us. Excuse the capitals there. Is it Penarossa? He's left us uh, after how many seasons did he have with us? One, two, three, four, five, nine seasons with us. Uh, his contract expired. He wouldn't renew one, but he has actually joined Penarossa. So they've got got themselves a fairly decent player there. Uh, he's only played 11 times though, but 6 assists is 7.71, so we're certainly, certainly growing some of these other teams now in San Marino, which is which is great. Uh, Penarossi, you can see their second place, uh, only lost the four games this season, two of them were to us. So, thank you very much, as always guys, for watching. Uh, disappointing way to end the season at the quarterfinal stage, but it's still progress, it still helps us, uh, and I'll see you all in the next episode. I don't really know what comes next I'm just doing my best